Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm Tom the Big Little Farmer. Today, or tonight, we, we are, we've come to TH Horn. We're doing a sale. No, we're not doing a sale today, Spud. Oh, sorry. We've come to um, TH Horn having a Mikhail event. Or Mikhail having the event and TH Horn of uh, doing it for him. So it's our local dealer. We literally live five minutes away. The Kubota dealers and everything else. So we're all here. Jack's here. George is getting Joe out of the car. So we finished milking. It's what time is it? Six o'clock ish. So we're going to have an Aussie round and uh, see what we can find. So quite a few machines in stock here. Little tanker. Tedders to be built up. Till solar edge cutters. Big feeder wagon. Uh, the chat's what Daddy likes. And feeder wagon, more tankers, rollers, a lot of Fleming trailers. Mm. You see the mower, Joe? Yeah, I can. What, what, where? What's that, Joe? What is it? A massive roller. Rollers. No, Jack, don't climb on it, get down. Sort of tipping trailers. That's an old feeder wagon. It is, isn't it? All sorts of stuff. I'll drop your phone then. That's a nice seat, eh? Do you like blue tractors, Jack? Huh? Do you like blue tractors? Yeah. Oh, careful, the man nearly fell over. <laughs> they were actually rung up about this one today. As I said in the last video, the uh, 885 was lacking a bit of power. So I rung up about this today, see if we can uh, see what they come up with. Time will tell. Yeah, or smart, aren't they? Could the cup out of dealers or owns. Look. Yes, mate. A fusion. A fusion? Yeah. It is a fusion, isn't it? Got fusion, the grass. <laughs> Bales and wrapping. Jack, Joel, don't you start kicking puddles, everybody. Hey, Joel's if you'll fill your welly. A brand new tether. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight rotors, is it? It's a great wood for eight rotors. Yeah. All new stuff inside. New rowing up machines. A nice new little Kubota. I do like the look of the Kubotas, but uh, we just can't afford one at the moment. We need more people to watch the videos. <laughs> and maybe one day. You want Spud? Oh, we can't have this one then. I should have probably, if you can't reach it, we should buy this one, then you can't drive it. Don't we? <laughs> Looks a pup compared to Teagle, doesn't it? Little C470. It's like a baby. Not round Baylor's. Mower. Fusion 4. So the lad we had do our bailing last year, Rob, hating he has the Fusion 3 Plus with a plastic on plastic, and this one's plastic on plastic, look. And uh, I don't think I'll go back to net wrap. Unless I was doing hay or something like that. But, uh, 
I think from now on, seeing the difference in the bales, I think all my bales will be uh, plastic on plastic wrap. I think they've kept so much better. So, for the pound a bale that is dearer, I think we'll stick with it. So, one thing I'm not a fan of on newer machinery is when they have the big uh, armrest with all the controls on. Because when you're tall, I struggle, I can't get my leg across onto the throttle. Because I have the seat all the way at the back, but it's still it's too big. And then I know it's fixed all the way at the bottom, but if you have it up here above my leg, your arm's at a bad angle all day. So, but it's probably me just being six foot eight. There won't be a lot of people have that problem. But uh, if you do, do comment the same and tell us if you, if you don't like them. But uh, not that I don't like it, it's just a bugbear for me. You know, you have all this room on the dash here, which you could put all these controls on the side, over there. But they just, it just cramps it up for me and I can't get my leg across. But I do suffer with a bad hip from my days of playing rugby. So. Right, crossbow, jump out. Okay. So I am stiff hip and I can't move my right hip very far. Which also doesn't help. So we're on the uh, Hog Roast, the Stripe Pig Company. And the company of the big Kubota. Front and back mowers. Boys have got new Mikhail hats, haven't you? <laughs> Jack will show us his hat if he decides to listen and come here. What? Yeah? Want to look at your new hat? Yeah. Cool, aren't they? That must be the auto greaser. You put your grease cartridge in like a normal grease gun. And it just pulls it out into the bank. Turns it away, another bank there. Adult bearings. This is your inside of the uh, roller baler. The so grass comes up through there, fruit knives. <coughs> and the little spinner make your bail up. A bit of engineering, isn't there? <clears throat> Big wrapper, the orbital. It swings out, picks bales up, and that's got his straw chopper book now. Is that better than Teagle, Jack? Huh? Is that better than the Teagle? Probably. Oh. <laughs> wrong yeah, wrong answer. We've bought a Teagle. Yeah, because you picked the... Yeah, you picked the wrong trap to didn't you, the first Yeah, that's time. not something to do... Are you doing gladiators, Joe? <laughs> you're going to do it. No, you're oh, old enough. You know better. I'm just having a, a uh, presentation. So we're just walking back to the car now. Mummy and Joe are already in the car, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think they walked out before. Joe couldn't sit still, so me and Jack listened to the man talking for a bit. He was going on about the history of Mikhail and uh, how the two owners are still heavily involved. The two original people that's founded the company. So on what they're doing and where they sell all over the world. So nice interesting night, lots to see. And uh so I say he's gonna all give us a ring about that Ford. Time will tell. But uh, Jack, what do people need to do? Like and subscribe. That's it, glad. Right, we'll catch you in the next one everybody. Cheers guys, bye.